Dimensioning in SketchUp's layout program is so incredibly powerful. I can be so creative and make it look exactly how I want, but it's so frustrating and so time intensive. Hey, I'm Ron Polk. Welcome to the Smart Digital Woodshop. And I have a request to SketchUp, the company, the engineers, as well as to possibly a power user out there that knows how to do this. I'm going to say that I got to believe there's a way and I just has, haven't figured it out. So let me show you the, the problem by just doing it here for you and demonstrating it. This is finished and ready to go. You can see how clean it is. It's pretty easy to read. I've got the, the uh, point size of the text. I've got the text itself. Uh, I have the tails and the leaders and everything just set up so that it's clear when this is printed or when it's displayed on a screen. When I set up for dimensioning, so I have my dimensioning tool out and I'm able to set the point size. I'd like to do nine, but you know, be, because of the print size of these being 11 by 17, seven uh, works, nine just too big, but I can set that and I can pick the text size. So we're, we're the text type. The other thing is in the shape styles, I can choose the start arrow and the end arrow type as well as the size it defaults to uh, one which is a little too big that are that's these arrows here on on either end and i can choose uh the orientation of the numbers it, it's it's kind of difficult to do this because it varies on each one and i don't want to keep changing it before i do it so i do that after the fact uh, but but i can do that and then the leader the leader is i'm not uh, here's a leader right here that's this that comes off here, and whether and this is a a um, I'll get into this. This is a um, two segment. That's typically what I use, and so when I move this around, it follows and, and does whatever. So you know, I, I understand I'm going to have to adjust, do some adjustments. Here's the deal: is it they're, they're just. You know, it just, I should be able to preset up more and maybe I'm just missing it. So let's go in here and, and I'm just going to start this whole one from scratch. So I'd come in, I'd grab it, I'd, I'd get as many settings as I could um, set up and ready to go and the scale and all of that kind of stuff. So then I'm going to come in and just start dimensioning it. Now, that went pretty quick, and yeah, you know, maybe it's okay, but, um, I, you know, this is much cleaner. I need to look at it and make some adjustments, and, you know, I'd expect to do some level of adjustment, but one of the things that I get is this portion here looks fine here, but in a lot of cases, it really, if it sticks off the page or if it interferes, like cutting through here, I just find that these whatever they're called these tails just don't work for me if I could make them shorter you know so that they were clipped about this length right here I can move these up and down but then you know it's it's just I wish I could preset these and the size of this arrow here is another one that this is actually smaller than standard um or that's standard, and then a lot of times they need to be smaller if, if it's a real tight situation like this where it kind of fills uh, from, in, you know, from end arrow to start arrow and it kind of fills a bit, it looks a little confusing. So what I've got to do is come in and start doing some, some edits. So this is sticking out long here, and so we'll start right at the top. I will come in, highlight it, and then I've got to double-click and get into where I highlight this side. And this one then I can nicely adjust it right where I want it. But then I have to come over here and I have to, I have to get into just that piece and I have to change the end arrow and now that goes away. The thing is, is the other side is the same way. So now I come in and it's pointing down and so I want this one to be over here 
just close so I'm consistent and now it sticks out and so I double click on that one and I'll come in and I'll change that and now this one of course this one looks okay because it's shorter because this is closer to here and I had to draw this one out from the backside so there are some inconsistencies depending on how far I have to pull from the surface but obviously I want them to line up so because I want to be consistent and I can't really have that one up there I want to change these so I'm going to come in and get into this space and again get into this side I got to drag this down so that matches up double click into that come over here change and eliminate that tail I don't know if that's what it's called but we will use that nomenclature same thing got to do the other side of it they're not even both sides you got to do each side separately get into that change it and again it's still sticking up but that's because it's the next one and so I've got to go do both of those um, ironically I, I do like it sticking out a little bit I wish I could go in and choose that as the default instead of this big big long tail the other thing is uh, these um, arrows here so you know I've got end arrow start arrow but that's these right here so those are a little bit clunky so I'll come in to this space and they I've already reduced them in size so they would be one point so they'd really be sticking up but I was able to predetermine that but now I want to change this arrow well I've got to go into this one to bring that up so it's kind of buried in there now it's there and I can come in and change this to 0.1 which is standard that I do on these small ones and you know that cleans it up a little bit in fact I would even come back into this one and change these to 0.1 just so that it's a little clearer when it's printed out but I got to do I got to do each one you can see how it sort of turned out over here how I how I got it to work and so I'll clean all of this up so it looks like this but the bottom line is is that's a lot of work to a lot of time and uh, SketchUp in so many ways is powerful and gives me a way to um, produce drawings quickly but this is a tough one uh, to I should be able to go in and put in my defaults which takes care of say 50 60 70 percent of my needs and then go in and just customize a few but as it sits now I have to customize every single dimension I have to go in and make two to three to five changes on every dimension and I cannot find in here how to pre predetermine and find those menus. So SketchUp, if you're watching, put out a video on efficient dimensioning and layout. Or if there's a power user out there, let us know how to do it. Share a nice video with us. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Digital Woodshop. If you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Most important, share it with others. And in this case, share it with somebody who knows more than I do. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.